Hi guys, Ranger Jamie here. If you noticed, Ranger Maria is not here today. So I thought I would make this video about something that's not as lonely as I am. Um, so today I'm going to teach you about symbiosis. Symbiosis is when two organisms live and interact together, and at least one of them obtains a need that is essential for survival. So there are three types of symbiosis. The first one we're going to be discussing today is mutualism. So that is when both organisms benefit from the relationship, kind of like mine and Marie's friendship. Um, but another example would be lichen. So you see this red dot right there? Lichen is a symbiotic mutualistic relationship between fungi and algae or cyanobacteria. Uh, the fungi benefits because the bacteria in it allows it to photosynthesize and the bacteria benefits because the fungi gives its structure and the resiliency to live in harsh environments. So you're saying that mutualism is when both organisms liken a relationship? <laughs> Another very common mutualistic relationship is between bees and flowers um, during pollination. So the bees get the pollen that they can take and the flowers benefit because their pollen gets spread to other flowers and they are able to reproduce. Wow, it must be great to have a relationship like that. The second type of symbiotic relationship that we're going to be discussing is commensalism. So that is when one organism benefits and the other one, it doesn't really bother them. Um, so an example for that would be certain epiphytes like air plants or orchids that grow on trees. So in the cypress swamp here, we have lots of those. If you look right here, you see those fuzz balls up there? Those are air plants, so they're able to get higher into the ecosystem, get more sunlight, and be able to photosynthesize better. And the trees are just like, you know, I guess you can be here. The last symbiotic relationship is parasitism. So it is exactly as it sounds. It is like a parasite. One of the organisms benefits and the other one is harmed. A parasitic relationship that we have here at LOX is the strangler fig. So you can kind of see the smaller stems that are coming off the tree wrapping around it. The strangler fig is totally wrapping itself around the trees and they can end up dying. So that is your three types of symbiosis. Thank you so much for joining us at Learning at Locks. Us. Me. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Is that a tear? I was born to be an actress.